this show viewers we're in the process of uh, installing our rodan trolling motor on fin chaser and as you can see here i have the battery tender trolling motor plug and this trolling motor plug is not like your ordinary trolling motor plug as you can see there's different components to it and what we're going to do is install the wires that came with the rodan this is already attached to it to this trolling motor plug on the rodan the white is positive the black is negative Okay, now the first thing we need to do once you disassemble this is on this uh, piece of the trolling motor plug, there's a plus and a minus. And you're gonna have to put this through the hole like that, okay? That's the plus and that's the minus, positive and negative right there. All right, we're gonna put that to the side for right now. Okay, now we have to deal with our actual plug. Now the plug comes with these two lugs here and they, one goes in each one of these holes. The lug itself has flat sides on it and round sides on it. That's to ensure that when you put it in there, it's locked in and it's flush on the back side. And since we already have the, the positive lug in there, we're gonna use the positive wire and a cable, I'm sorry, and attach that to this side of the, uh, the plug. Okay, remember our white is our positive. I'm gonna attach it just like so. Okay, let's get that out the way. We're gonna use a flat washer that came with the trolling motor plug. And then the, what I call a captive washer. If you know the uh, official name for this, just let me know, drop me a comment in there and I'll make sure I start using the, the correct terminology. Okay, like so. Then we're gonna use our 10 millimeter nut on top. Gonna screw that down. If I can get it on there, I'm, I'm trying to do this without looking. Here we go. That's that's a little bit better. Like so. I'm gonna screw that down. Then we're gonna use our 10 millimeter wrench here and just tighten that down somewhat. We don't have to tighten it down too tight right now because we're gonna adjust the cables in a minute. But I want it tight enough that this lug doesn't shift around in there and it's not flush anymore on this backside. Okay, since we got that, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the negative side. Okay, this is your negative cable. As you can see, there's no lug in here right now. We have the lug. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. We can see that it's flush, so that's good. I'm gonna do that, make sure our cables are all good to go. Okay, from there, we're gonna put on our washer again. Okay, then our captive washer goes on top of that one, like so. And then again, we have a 10 millimeter nut here for the negative side as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down. Okay, so I'm gonna use our 10 millimeter wrench here and tighten that on down. Now, since I got this on there, we're gonna tighten these on down as they should be because this is actually gonna fit over the, uh, the two cables. Okay, we got our uh, terminals screwed in onto our battery tender trolling motor plug. And now we're gonna take this part that we put on earlier and we're gonna slide it up to the base here just like so, it should seat fully. Now, if it doesn't seat fully, 10 times out of 10, what's gonna happen is, it's gonna be one of your, your terminals here. You see how that um, bump is up like that? I don't know if you can see that or not, but this, you don't wanna have this flipped upside down, this wire flipped upside down where this bump is on the backside on either one of these. I don't know if you can see it better on that one. That bump cannot be on the bottom side. If it's on the bottom side, this isn't gonna fit flush like that. So if you're putting yours together and you do like this and for some reason it's not going on, you need to flip either one of these, whichever one that has the, uh, the bump here facing down. After you do that, it should fit nice and flush just like that, okay? With that being said, now we have all of this tightened up. We know everything's good to go in there. We're gonna put our top on. Now the top, I don't know if you can see that little groove right there. The battery tender top has that little uh, pin out right there, if you will, okay? 
And we're gonna slide that right on top of this right here. Now, before I do that, I wanna show you something else here. This terminal has grooves on both sides and that's where these screws are gonna go right down the sides on both sides right there. I hope you can see those grooves, but that's where these screws are gonna ride. So if we put that in like that, see how that fits in there? Of course, we got our base. We'll put that back on again. If I can get everything lined up like so. Okay, now all we have to do is tighten these down and I'm gonna tighten these down slowly with my drill here. Okay, you don't wanna strip anything out. Just like so. Just like so, okay. Now, that's in there like that. Okay, that's those screws all the way through. What's gonna hold them in is this plate right here. Okay, and this plate is tapped out. So I can put that on there like so, if I can get it on there. There we go. And all I'm gonna do now is just screw it down lightly with my drill and the screw should catch. I don't wanna strip anything out. There you go. And we're gonna do the other side here. My bad. Set that right there for right now. Okay, bear with me on this one. It's a learning process for all of us. Okay. Well, it seems like it's further over on one side than another. There, I think that may be better. Let's try that. Now, if this doesn't work, I have a trick. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off, right? I'm gonna back these screws out somewhat. Let's back them out a little bit. Now it's gonna be flush. Okay, now those screws are flush. Now I can try to make this sit flush on there like so and hold it down with my finger and then tighten up the, uh, the nuts here. Ever so gently and we're good, okay? So now that's tight. That base is not gonna fall off. Your battery tender plug is in one piece. And what I'm gonna do is get me a screwdriver and use a screwdriver to tighten these down even more. I don't want to tighten it down too much with my drill because I don't want to strip anything out. But that's the trolling motor plug right here. That's one end of it. The other end is already on Fin Chaser, and I'll be showing you that in another video. Okay? All right, Fish On viewers, stay tuned. Next, we'll be doing the, uh, the base plate for the trolling motor itself. All right? Fish On Forte, out.